Chapter 11, Reverse Scales What, ran away? The second lady Yu Yu, who was entertaining guests in the flower hall, was pulled to the veranda by the maid beside her to speak, and as soon as she heard that Yu Fang Yin had run out of the firewood room at this time, her handsome little face sank down. Didn't you tell the rough envoy to guard it? What are you eating? When the maid saw that she was angry, she did not dare to speak. Yu Yu snorted coldly and said, but she just wants to see her cheap aunt, there are guests at home today, it's not easy to make a noise, you tell them to go down and let them not worry about it now, lest people see some rumors that shouldn't be there. After a while, my sister and I will take the guests to the garden to enjoy the flowers, and then you can go directly to the slut's room and take her to me, and treat her well. The maid whispered yes and went down to speak. At this moment, the guests who came to the banquet arrived one after another. Everyone gathered in the flower hall to talk. There are many young ladies from the noble family who originally didn't plan to come, but when they heard that there were Yan Lin and Shen Zhu and Qing Yuan Bafu, where could they sit still? Who in Beijing doesn't know that Yan Xiaoha is a talent? It is good to learn martial arts and literature, and the position of the prince has been decided early, and the crown salute will be performed in two months. It stands to reason that after the crown ceremony, we will talk about marriage. Even if you don't admire the high gate of the Marquis Yanji's mansion, just one Yan Lin is enough to make people flock to it, not to mention that there is still a Linza King Shen Zhu who has not yet taken the concubine. When Zhang Suining walked in from the outside of the flower hall, she glanced at it, and saw that the hall was full of red scarves and green sleeves, pink faces, and red lips, no matter how high or low the door was, everyone had a smile on their faces that looked like they were too decent and polite. Only the smiles of the two people seemed more genuine. One is Yu Shuang, the eldest lady of Yu Mansion, and the other is Yu Yu the second lady of Yu Mansion. And it's no wonder. In her impression, the declining Qing Yu and Bafu held a banquet, and collided with the Qingqiuo Mansion, but there were so many people who came to the banquet, if Zhang Suining was them, I was afraid that she would not be able to hide the joy on her face. As soon as the subordinate who brought her in arrived at the foyer, he smiled and said inside, the second girl of Zhang Shilang's mansion has arrived. The ladies and ladies who were talking in the hall didn't pay much attention to this when they heard this, but just habitually raised their heads and glanced at the foyer. But who knew that it was this glance, and it flashed. The moment Zhang Suining walked into the hall from outside the door, she didn't know who quieted down first, and the infection spread, and the whole hall suddenly fell silent. Since Zhang Suining returned to Beijing, she has rarely been involved in this kind of banquet. Most of these girls in Beijing are beautiful girls, and they all have the same bearing as Zhang Suiwai. And she was learning the rules for the first two years after returning to Beijing, and Meng couldn't take her out. Later, when she met Yan Lin, she was simply impatient to learn those cumbersome rules and the perfume and piano that everyone likes to do so naturally she didn't like to join in the excitement of her temperament. Not to mention that Zhang Suiwai is basically indispensable on this kind of occasion. There is such a powerful sister, even though Zhang Suiwai actually has no intention of pressing her, but in the eyes of outsiders, Zhang Suining, the second girl, is inferior everywhere, and she is too lazy to find anger for herself. Therefore, Although many people in the hall have heard of the existence of such a person as her at this moment, most of them have not seen her appearance and behavior with their own eyes. At first glance, all of them are pantothenic acid in their hearts. When God pinched her like this, he was inevitably too partial. Even if she didn't come in full costume, her makeup was too plain, but the more she did, the more people felt that she was naturally beautiful. The eyebrows are not painted, the lips are not dotted but vermilion, and the snow-white complexion is like the snow on the top of the sky, which makes people feel untouchable. 
The pair of bright eyes seemed to be painted, and when the gaze flowed gently, it pulled her down to the mortal dust, bringing out a natural charm and agility. It's even a little bright. It not only rejects people thousands of miles away, but also inspires people at the end. A fluffy black hair has been curled into a fragrant bun near Che Yun. Although the girl's figure has not yet fully grown, it has already been exquisite, and her slender waist swings lightly between walks, reminiscent of the willow branches swaying in the spring breeze, fresh and tender. In the short silence, I don't know who snorted, why is she here? Only then did the ladies who were a little further away react. There are whispers that have seen her before, and there are also people who have never seen her before to ask others. Although those voices were fine, Zhang Swinning casually swept the expressions of these so-called celebrities and ladies to know that she was afraid that these people did not have a very good impression of herself, and there was a faint fear of hostility. But soon this hostility turned into obvious contempt. After all, a wild girl from the countryside who grew up on the Grange for the first 14 years, even if she returned to the capital, she didn't look like a prince in a dragon robe, how could she compare with these noble ladies who had been pampered since childhood? In her previous life, she especially minded these gazes. But in this life, she looked at them a lot more calmly, they have all been queens, even if they can't fight those people in the previous dynasty, she is also the winner who has really overcome obstacles and climbed to the queen's throne. The atmosphere in the flower hall was a little strangely awkward. Fortunately, the two hosts of this banquet were there. When he heard the courtesy, Yu Shuang hurriedly greeted her, his eyes flashed when he saw her, he smiled slightly, and greeted Zhang Swinning, in the past, it seems that I only met with the second girl Zhang at the banquet of Zhang Shangshu's house, but I didn't expect the second girl to come today, please inside. Yu Yu nailed Zhang Swinning twice with a dead eye. Today she is the master's house, can be called dressed up, before going out to look in the mirror self-portrait, I feel that the person in the mirror can be regarded as a good person, and you have not encountered such a good thing with face for a long time, it is a little warm at the corners of the eyes and eyebrows, just like the bright red flowers blooming on the branches, even if it can't overwhelm the crowd. It is absolutely radiant, so that people can see her at a glance in the crowd, it is a dazzling pearl. But as soon as Zhang Swinning came, she was all compared to her. Like a bright moon rising into the night sky, it dims the pearl. Yu Yu's heart is not big, one thinks she is too good looking to hinder people's eyes, and the other looks down on her growing up in the mountains and wilderness, so she faked a laugh at the moment and deliberately said, why did I only see the second girl today, and I didn't see your sister. Many people around peeked around. In the case of the two young ladies of Zhang Mansion, most of them have heard of Zhang Mansion's rhetoric. The good one prefers to be in front of his sister, and you use intention to make Zhang Swinning's unhappy heart can be regarded as very obvious. They all have a little bit of a heart to watch jokes, and first see how Zhang Swinning responds. But who would have thought that she was very calm, neither embarrassed, nor annoyed, she only looked back at Yu Yu with a smile, and said lightly, of course, my sister and mother went to the Chinkyo mansion, and I apologized to you mansion. Yu Yu's face changed suddenly. The others also secretly took a breath of cool air, this Zhang Er girl looked silent, but she spoke ruthlessly. Who doesn't know that today's Ching Yuan Bafu and Chinkyo Mansion collided with each other? There are smart and many people, and some people go here and some people go there. Everyone knows it, but they don't say it. And Zhang Swinning's answer clearly means that Mrs. Zhang, who has a higher status in the Zhang Mansion, took the eldest girl to the Chinkyo Mansion, and Ching Yuan Bafu came to her alone. What is the difference between this and slapping Yu Yu in the face? Yu Yu took a step forward and wanted to have a seizure. Yu Shuang, who was standing next to her, jumped in eyelids, 
grabbed her hand, and took Zhang Suining's words first, what's the matter? After all, everyone has lived in the capital for a long time, and it is indispensable to enjoy flowers and the moon in the future, and there will always be a time to get together. Let's sit down and talk, please. Only then did Zhang Suining sit down. A young lady from the family who had contact with Zhang Suining in the past few days, seeing her calm and calm posture, was a little suspicious of her previous impression, the two girls of the Zhang family have no face except for one face, how can they look more noble than them with this demeanor today? Zhang Suining knew that many people were secretly looking at her, but she didn't care. She didn't come here for the banquet in the first place. And disgusted with these hypocritical entertainments in Beijing, after sitting down, he basically didn't speak, only listened to the gossip of others without a ride, and was full of only one Yu Fang Yin. The face of Yu Fang Yin she knew in the previous life, and the figure of Yu Fang Yin she met in this life, kept flickering in her mind, overlapping and separating, disturbing her. That Yu Yu was angry for a while, but she didn't speak after Zhang Suining sat down, and the girls and ladies next to her invited Yan Lin and Shen Zhu because of Yu Manchin this time, and they all held her in and out of her words to compliment her, so they gradually forgot about the previous discord. At this time, I talked to people about the recent events in Beijing. She clapped her hands and remembered something, hey, there's an interesting incident. Have you heard about it? Zhang Suining just absent-mindedly took a small piece of Osman Thus cake on the table, and when she heard the words the criminal department is in the matter, her heart trembled, and she suddenly raised her eyes and looked at Yu Yu. Yu Yu sneered contemptuously and smiled at the others, who doesn't know that after the previous emperor set up the Jinyi guard, he relied on it very much, and many prison matters were handed over. Zhou Qinhu of the former Jinyi Guard led people to arrest two sour Confucians who were blindly writing books and arranging the imperial court, and who didn't know that they were the meaning of the saints. The people were all arrested and imprisoned, but guess what? The next day, someone gave the saint an excerpt, saying that the Jinyi Guards wanted to impeach Zhou Qinhu without the consent of their criminal department. Zhou Qinhu has something to do with Qing Yuan Bafu. For the sake of this matter, Uncle Ching Yuan had scolded several times in his study, and Yu Yu naturally felt that there were many things about this surname Zhang, and his words were quite polite. Everyone else also agreed, this sesame-sized little official dares to raise the bar with Jin Yi Wei, it's too ignorant. Zhang Suining's fingers loosened slightly, and the piece of Osman Thus cake she picked up was thrown back into the dish by her and she interjected a sentence for the first time, only laughing, this is called not knowing what is good, so according to the high rank, what is called knowing good and bad. Everyone was stunned for a moment. They sat here and talked for a long time, and they didn't listen to Zhang Suining's answer, and gradually forgot that there was such an existence next to them, and suddenly listened to her talking, and they were at a loss for a moment. Looking at the expression of the second girl of the Zhang family again, I was slightly shocked. It was Yu Yu who stabbed her with words, and Zhang Suining's face was also indifferent, and she didn't seem to care very much. But at this moment, although there is a smile on his lips, it is a little cold. A pair of beautiful eyes were raised, looking at people quietly, revealing a bit of a sense of surprise for no reason and the sneer at the corner of his lips actually had a sarcastic sharpness. Yu Shuang was stunned. Yu Yu was suddenly ignited by her words, and completely pulled down a face, what you say sounds like you want to be upset for this surnamed Zhang, but why haven't I heard that Zhang Shilang is so capable that he even has to carry a seventh rank official who doesn't know what it is? In these words, it was implied that Zhang Boya was behind Zhang Shad, Zhang Suining was not a good-tempered master in her previous life, not to mention that Yu Yu's words violated her taboo one after another. As a result, the last smile on his face was hidden. She took the jinsa handed over by Tang'er on the side, 
wiped her hands, and said word by word, according to the Imperial Court regulations, in addition to the Jinyi Guard, in addition to having a driver's post, it is also necessary to have the approval of the criminal department to get someone in the matter. This Jokin who is so bold and reckless that he even dares to ignore the laws and regulations of the Imperial Court, and it is really his own fault to be put on a book by Zhang Daren. Why is it the turn of Miss Yu to cry out for him, isn't it in vain to ignore the laws and regulations of this dynasty and turn black and white upside down? The faces of the others around them changed. Although Jin Yiwei is becoming more and more arrogant, and the people in the government and the opposition are slowly getting used to their actions, it is the first time that someone has taken out the law to talk about things on such an occasion today, and it is really difficult for people to intervene. Even Yu Yu was shocked when she reacted. It's just that she couldn't get used to Zhang Swinning, and she was dismissed by her again, if she retreated and kept silent at this time, her face was really dull, so she gritted her teeth and said again, you take the law and talk about things. Just wait to see what happens to this Lord Zhang. Zhang Swinning smiled slowly, I'm also waiting to see what happens to Zhou Qinhu. When she smiled, her eyes were not smiling, she only looked at Yu Yu, and the bottom of her eyes was full of anger. Although she didn't take the initiative to harm anyone in her previous life, she was also a person who had experienced a killing and there were some things in her bones that were different from these boudoir ladies. There was a bit of blood in this look. Where has Yu Yu seen it? For a while, he was trembling by this look, and he opened his mouth, but he couldn't say a word. How did she know what the name Zhang Xia meant to Zhang Swinning? This person was the only person she was ashamed of in her previous life. She was greedy for life and afraid of death but at the end of her life, she gave him the courage of her life. How can he allow others to insult him? Not to mention that she is sitting here today for a little yu-yu, it is Xie Wei who is sitting here, and she dares to reprimand. 